It is currently about to be 5 in the morning. I did eat half a banana, but I didn't show you guys because it's just half a banana. I'm running on like 5 hours of sleep. Last night we went salting and we didn't get home till really late, so I'm really tired. We made it to the gym. No one is here. It's only... 5.06 and so it's still fairly early. I need to call Dave to make sure he salts the parking lot. Hey, do you think you should um, salt the parking lot? Alrighty, I was just letting you know because it is really icy out there and I don't want someone to fall. Alright. I love you too, bye. Before I do my cardio, I actually want to do a little tour of the gym. So let's do it. I apologize about the floor. Um, there's a lot of salt in the parking lot, so that's all the white stuff that you see. Walk in, this is what you see. See the doors right there. You walk in, there's the front desk. These are all our trophies for when we competed. We have um, lockers and things like that here. And then you turn on the lights in this room. We have some ellipticals. We have one treadmill in here. We have some bikes, another elliptical, and then we have the Stairmaster. You walk over here. And we have a dip machine in this corner. We have our ellipticals and another, I mean our treadmills and another elliptical over there. We have a row machine. And this little section right here is where we put all our handles. We walk in here, this is our scale, hand sanitizer, an ab machine, garbage cans, our water. This is the girls' bathroom. Someone's here, so I have to make this quick. <laughs> So this is where we have all our free weights, our benches, the boys' bathroom is in there, machines everywhere and things like that. Um, we do have an upstairs, but we still have to remodel it. This is where we keep most of our leg machines, our squat racks. There's a couple of benches in here. And then you walk in here. This is like our back room. We have a calf machine. We have this huge machine that has two leg machines it has a chest machine and a back machine in the back a row over there we have a high row over there and then this is our smith machine it's like a quick look at our gym it's pretty decent cardio is not happening i'm exhausted so i just warmed up for 10 minutes i'm going to hit upper body now I guess we're moving things around. I don't know what we're doing there. Probably the Smith machine.
post-workout, I have the egg whites with ketchup and salsa, and then I have the potatoes with just ketchup, and I did use a lot of oil, or a decent amount of oil to cook the egg whites because I hate when my egg whites stick to the pan, but that is post-workout. The egg whites and the potatoes were definitely not enough food, so I made a bowl of oatmeal. I just have a cup of oatmeal with the other half of the banana. I ate the other half before my workout, and I have some peanut butter. I'm using this one right now because Dave's grandmother brought us a ton of these, and I am using some sugar-free syrup. So that is still part of my post-workout. My stomach is probably going to hate me, but I am headed out to the gym to work for a couple hours, so I'm just gonna have, I just have oatmeal with a little bit of protein powder, peanut butter and cinnamon, just no banana quick snack and then I'm gonna head to the gym. You guys probably can't see me, but I am back from the gym. It's pretty gloomy outside. Um, it's pretty cold, it's pretty icy. So I just wanna fall asleep. I am so exhausted. My body has not been able to catch up on this new schedule that I have going on. I haven't been able to go to sleep early. I don't have an issue waking up at like 4.30 in the morning, but I do have an issue going to bed early. So I'm not getting enough sleep. I'm running on like four to five hours of sleep and my body is used to running on eight to nine. So I am exhausted, but I'm hoping that within a week I can get used to the new schedule and just go to bed at like 7.30 or eight. So that's my goal for next week. I'm trying to think of what to eat. That oatmeal really messed me up. I probably shouldn't have had another bowl. All I've eaten today is half a banana pre-workout and then post-workout I had the egg whites with the potato and the bowl of oatmeal and then an hour and a half after that I had the other bowl of oatmeal so my stomach is in knots. I might just get a cup of coffee and my water and then head back down to the gym. We're moving things around so I need to help Dave and I also need to work on online training today. So I'm going to be at the gym basically all day. So today is not going to be a fun vlog, but I hope you guys are still enjoying it. I'm going to grab my coffee, my water, grab a sweater because I'm freezing, and head back down to the gym. And I haven't showed you guys my cider. Cider baby, you want to say hi to the YouTubes? Baby, they haven't seen you and they miss you. They miss you because you were on Vlogmas every day and now they don't see you. There's the munchkin. He just sleeping there. He's so cute. My munchkin. Oh. Okay, so I'm getting my stuff ready to head back down to the gym. I am seriously in need of a nap. Um, let me get my water first. So I've been using my little... Where's the bee? Right there. I've been using my... What are these called? I don't know what they call them, but I've been using that to get my water in. And it's been so easy to get a whole gallon a day because I can drink 30 ounces pretty fast. So it's been fairly easy to get my water in this week. So that's nice. Also, update, my weight is st still at 128.2. Um, sorry, let me get my things together and then I'll let you guys know. Okay, so my weight has been at 128. So I am assuming that I gained a good two pounds during the week that I basically ate whatever I wanted, which is totally fine. But damn, two pounds, unless it goes back down by Monday, but I doubt it because it's been like, what, three days, four days, five days, Monday to, yeah, it's four days. Today will be five. But if my weight doesn't go down by Monday, if it doesn't go back down to 126.4 or whatever I was before that week, then I probably did gain a good two pounds of fat, which, damn, that's a lot if you think about it. I must have eaten a lot of food. But anyways, I'm not worried about it. Like I said, um, I feel fine. The only thing that's bothering me is just my stomach has been like all over the place and it might be because I stopped taking the probiotic because I ran out. I should be getting a new bottle um, within the next couple of days, but today is the third day that I didn't take it. And these past couple of three days, I've been eating like two bowls of oatmeal. So my stomach has just been in nuts. I am having, you know, cravings and things like that. But other than that, I'm doing okay. My workouts have been awesome. My motivation is there. Uh, temptations are a little bit hard to resist, especially when we go over to Dave's parents' house. Damn, that day, when was it? Monday, Tuesday? When did I vlog? Monday, Tuesday. 
I don't remember when I vlogged. Did I vlog on Tuesday or Wednesday? I think I vlogged Wednesday. Um, it was Dave's parents' birthday. So we went over and they had cake, cookies, pizza. It was so hard. So hard. But I got through it. And I know that the first couple of weeks are going to be the hardest for me because I'm so used to eating whatever I want. But I am motivated and I'm going to stick to my plan. Um, I am craving a... A, a complete cookie the chocolate chip cookie I don't know why but I'm just craving that specific cookie it might be because I might be getting my period soon but I just can't get that damn cookie out of my mind when I'm prepping I don't like to have things that are really high calorie like that because it does nothing for my hunger like I mentioned in my previous video I make sure that my food choices are you know healthy and full of vegetables and you know lean meat and things like that because those type of meals are going to keep me full longer if i eat a complete cookie that's like almost 400 calories it's not going to do anything for my hunger so i'm going to be hungry within 30 minutes to an hour and i'm going to eat again if i you know pick a bowl of um, rice with vegetables and chicken that meal will keep me full for two to three hours even four so that's what I mean by um, intuitive eating slash common sense eating. Like I know I shouldn't be eating a complete cookie and not because it's unhealthy or because I won't, you know, reach my goals by eating it, but just because I know that I'll probably end up eating more at the end of the day because it's not going to do anything for my hunger. So I hope that makes sense. But okay, enough of me talking. I'm going to head back to the gym and I will see you guys next time I eat or next time I want to pick up the camera. This is my next meal. All I have is ground chicken, white potato, like it's in here. Oh, it's so soft. I have some white potato, uh, broccoli, diced tomatoes, and I seasoned everything with garlic salt and black pepper. So that's going to be my next meal. A quick little snack slash treat because I'm craving something sweet. I just have cottage cheese with stevia and mini chocolate chips. I'm at the gym getting some work done on the computer and I'm gonna have a snack. They just brought me this. It's two rice cakes with peanut butter and banana and cinnamon. I'm having chicken, white potato, green bell pepper, and some greens for dinner. I seasoned everything with black pepper and garlic salt. I'm going to use that hot sauce and regular mustard on top of it. So that's going to be dinner. I'm going to end my night with some cottage cheese, stevia, and mini chocolate chips. This is going to be my last snack of the day. I'm going to wrap up the video and end it here, but I did want to mention that I did come up with a schedule for my YouTube channel, so I wanted to let you guys know that I will be uploading Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 5 in the morning. Saturdays and Sundays vlog will be combined and will be uploaded on Monday morning. Monday's vlog will be uploaded on Wednesday morning and Thursday's vlog will be uploaded on Friday morning. So I will be vlogging four days a week and taking three days off. I will be vlogging Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Thursday. So those are the four days that I will be vlogging. Um, my vlogs are just going to be my entire day, my workouts, my meals, things like that. I will throw in a couple of topics in there that I want to talk about and my prep updates and things like that but it's basically just going to be vlogs so I hope you guys are okay with that. Before I go I did want to mention that I am having an awesome sale on my online training packages. We'll put the information on the screen for you guys but I am offering eight weeks of custom workouts for $30 and I am also offering eight weeks of custom workouts and a meal plan for only $80. That is such an awesome deal. The sale will end on Sunday night. So if you guys are interested, just click on the link below. Just purchase the program through there. And when I send the consultation forms and the sign up forms, I will add, you know, that you signed up for eight weeks. So totalfitnessgym.com, but the link will be in the description box. You guys won't be seeing me until Monday. So I just wanted to wish you guys a happy new year. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys next week.